Hey, what's up folks, PK here. Welcome to another episode. And just wanted to tell you guys, one of the best way to catch crabs on the Oregon coast is to use this uh, crab hog. They're pretty cheap. Um, I got this for, I think, $13.99 at Bymart. Um, they're pretty fun to use as well. Um, it's, you use it with a fishing rod. So I got one here down. And you just tie your line onto the swivel, okay? And you just kind of cast it out, just, just like as you were, you know, fishing normally. And the bait goes on this hook, all right? And you can use any kind of bait you want, but chicken tends to work best for this type of uh, crab trap, all right? When you, when you cast it, it's gonna hit the water, and when it hits the bottom, it's gonna open like that. It's spring-loaded, so that way um, the crab can get at the bait, and you wait about five to six minutes, and then you just pull it up, and when you do, it collapses back. It's like a clamshell. It's pretty cool. Okay, so that's what we're doing today, just catching, hopefully, big Dungeness crab. And I am bringing along Alec. He has a channel, um, Northwest Fishing, so be sure to check him out. Um, he does uh, very similar things that I do, all right? So, um, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna bait up this one and uh, start crabbing, okay? Enjoy the show. Oh, I'm gonna put Alex, uh, a link to Alex's channel in the description, so be sure to check them out, all right? Okay. <laughs> you god oh, damn it didn't work fail so you see how those the ropes sink guys that's the kind of rope you want these lead core because they sink and they stay out of the way of boat props okay all right our first pot going down bon voyage we have 650 one more pot and then we are set to go crab hawking Pot number two, 28 feet of water. There it is, door is shut. I did not put a GoPro on this one because I don't have an extra GoPro. There we go. There she goes, pot number two away. So let's go crab hawking. All right, so we have 652. We'll probably leave it down for about an hour or so, and then we'll check it. Okay, guys, so here is an underwater shot of the crab pot. I take these underwater video with my GoPro because I want to see how the crabs react um, with the bait. Now you see the chicken bone, the chicken drumstick on the left there. Um, I put that kind of too close to the side. So as you can see that one crab there is coming in and he's able to eat the chicken without going inside. So that's a good learning experience right there. So definitely I have to tie it closer to the center next time by the bait box. The underwater video is kind of dark because it was a cloudy day that day. As you can see, most crabs are not going for the bait box. They're kind of eating the drumsticks that tie to the bottom, which is intended. I'll, next time, I'll just have to tie it closer to the bait box near the center. Now, these videos are helpful because they let me know where to position the bait so I can catch more crabs. All right. Okay, I'm gonna toss this mofo out of here. Hopefully all that might not go well. Hopefully it will. Okay. So go ahead and let it out. 
a little bit more. I tell you, when the crabbing gets good here, man, it gets crazy good. Okay, guys, so let me show you what rod and reel I am using. Um, when you're crab hawking, you want to use a very stiff rod like this one. Uh, this is a Penn Mariner 2. It is, I think it's a six foot, okay? Not, line is uh, 15 to 30 and, or 20 to 50 pound braid. So it's, it's very, very stiff. That's what you need because you want to be able to jerk it up and if you have a flimsy rod, um, it's probably gonna break, okay? Um, the reel, it is a Daiwa BG 5000 and I have um, 80 pound braid. The reason I chose this reel is because I want something with a lot of cranking power. The BG has some mass, massive, massive gear as you can see. Um, you, you want something that has you know, enough cranking power because when you're dragging this through water, especially when, you're, um, when you have crab in it and the current's ripping, you need, you, know, you need that torque, okay? The BG does that very well. My other setup here is a ugly stick tiger rod, seven foot. Um, another very stiff rod. And for the reel, I chose the Pen Battle 2. Um, this is a size 8000, so it's got a lot of cranking power, 80 pound braid. Okay, so these are very, very heavy setup. And Alec has a, a Kuma reel, um, pretty big reel. Uh, Kmar C55, what pound test is this? 50 pound braid. 50 pound braid. The rod is a Abu Garcia Apex rated one to three ounce, okay? So you need pretty pretty much really, uh, you know, tough gear. Something's very stiff. So it's just easier to pull up the pots. I'm sorry, the uh, crab hog. Oh, that's good. I hope it's not seaweed. I hope it's full of crabs. Big old seaweed coming in. Okay, 718. Gotta remember that. Get cracked. Didn't get the anchor, I hope. <laughs> Please, no anchor. Yeah, you got some, dude. You got some. You got some. Check that out, guys. Oh, no, I lost one. Um, that's what I'm talking about right there. Is that a keeper? Uh, he's very close. I think he might be. Check out. That's what I mean, guys. Big dungeness on a crab hawk. Okay, let me get the uh, measure. Let me get the measure. I think he is legal. That's the first pull for Alec. Look what he got. Yeah, that's a keeper. I'm pretty sure he's a keeper. That's no good. That's too small. And this guy's way too small. In Oregon, they have to be five and three quarter inch male, and that's a male. So check that out right there. Pretty good catch. I think he's too small. Yeah. Yeah, too small, but that dude, he's a good size. Let's measure him. Wow, wow man, look at that. <laughs> All right. He's a keeper. Woo! He's a keeper. So that's a male, we can keep him. Nice job, dude. Nice job, dude. That's my first keeper dungeness on a cat box. Yeah. Hell my yeah. first pull was unsuccessful, but Alec did pretty good. All right, we'll keep this guy. Put him in this cooler. <laughs> that bird, I don't know. It's, <laughs> it's funny as hell the way they scream. light oh I got one I got one too small that's a female too so we cannot keep these guys no that's a male but he's too small so first pull for that rod is one crab that is too small right there he's a hard shell too that's too bad 
He's only about four and a half inches. So we're gonna let him go. Feels heavy. Where are you? Yeah, oh my lord, you got the you got a good spot, dude. Look at this. Holy cow. I'm excited, but you have another one. You got another keeper. That is cool. Small? Uh, Check that oh out. My God. Oh my lord. <laughs> See that? I think this side of the boat is better. All right, it's your turn. You can throw that side. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're good. Don't worry about it. Here, let me see that bad boy. So far, so this is, wow. Hello, Mr. Dinner. <laughs> this is dinner. Mr. Dinner. Oh, so legal, man. Woo! Very nice. Number two, good job. Dude, you're killing it. Nice. Number two right there. Okay. Got a buddy to play with. Okay, now it's my turn. <laughs> what did I say? 721 for that one? I can't remember. Come on, baby. Please give me one. Please give me one. Oh, oh feels like. Dang it. Come on, baby. Yes, I got some. I got some. <laughs> I got the little ones. <laughs> Alex getting all the big ones. See, it's called teamwork. Yeah. There we go, guys. Not what we wanted, but you know, you get the idea. Boy, they really tore up that bait. Okay, too small. Too small. Too small. Okay, that bait is still good. Well, no, maybe not. Mm, I'm gonna go that way then. And I'm gonna go kind of, kind of far. Don't worry about it, cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna be way beyond you. Okay. Okay. There we go. I think that should be beyond you. Sweet number two. Number two. Number two. Feels about the same as the last one. Oh, there it goes. Um, there uh, goes. We have crap as well. Look at that. Wow, is that awesome or what, guys? Holy cow! At least four or five in there. Maybe four. Check out all those Dungeness crab. Large 
dungeon. Oh, I hope that's good. Feels kind of light. Oh, 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 it's one hanging, it's one hanging. Oh, too small, dang it. Okay. Here we go. Light. Oh, oh, come back. <laughs> he was just hanging on. I hope that's a that's legal. Please be legal. Please be legal. Maybe if he is in here, but he's so close. Oh, I'm not too hopeful. Not too hopeful. Let's find out. Oh man! One eighth of an inch off. So close. So close. No cigar. Toss in. Far away. Ten minutes. Okay, this one now. Come on, buddy. Come on, give me something, please. Oh, oh yeah. Oh no. It looked good coming up, but no cigar. Small, small, female. Uh, yeah, this one's close. I have a feeling he's gonna be about an eighth off again. Okay. Yes! Legal! Woo! First one on a hawk. 13, right? Nice. Nice. Okay, here we go. Light. Son of a gun. Yeah, it's kind of light. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, please be legal. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right here, guys. Right here. Right there. Another legal one. Woo! And wh where'd he go? Got to run away. This female, no good. So we have. Another one. This is, you, let's see, 14? 15. So this is 15. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is number 15. Oh, yes. This is a very hard shell. Very awesome. Good looking crab. Right there. Look at that. Look at those right there, guys. Half full of delicious Dungeness. Give me a big one. Oh yeah. Yes, I think I got one. I think I got one, guys. Check that out. There, you go. there we go, we got a keeper. We got a keeper, see that? Kind of wraps them up like a clam and they get trapped. They can't go nowhere. That's a big Dungeness. And that guy is too small. So far, I got one in the boat. I am on the board. Very nice. Very nice. Let's 
measure this guy. He is perfectly legal. When you measure the crabs, you go on the inside, okay? You don't measure on the point, but on the inside. But, so he's definitely legal. Awesome. First one for me. Three so far. Sweet. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on this side. To your right, yeah. First pole. Feels pretty. There we go. We have crabs. Oh yes. Holy moly. Oh. Look at that, guys. That's a lot of dungeness. Oh my lord. Oh. See that? There's some big ones in there. Yeah. That's right. It is Oregon crabbing. That's how good it is, man. It is late August, which means crabbing here is picking up. This guy. Thank you. Maybe, maybe. How are you? Are you legal? Oh, right on the money. He's a keeper. How about you? Please be legal. Please be 18. You are 18. Two? Two. And maybe, maybe, maybe. So close. No cigar. This one's good. Look at this dude. Yep. Male. This one is a female. Three. Nope. No good. Female. No good. No good. Maybe. Let me see you, buddy. Oh, so close. This is one of the. Oh my lord! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> Jesus! Woo! <laughs> this is a coin toss for this guy. Alright. Go ahead. That's huge! We got one more to keep her here. One more to keep her. This guy. This guy's a keeper. I know you're a keeper. Yep. Look at that. That's in there. I don't know. He will be, oh, yes, 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 yes. How many was that? Uh, that was probably six. We had three in here already. Three, okay. Okay guys, so we're gonna clean these crabs really quick. I'm just gonna do one to show you how I clean it. Um, I use this crack and crab cleaner. Um, it's from a company called tealcrab.com. You can see the website right there and um, basically this is going to save you a little bit of time quite a bit of time actually cleaning these crabs all right so you set it down like this you get this guy he decided to volunteer and you want to line that um, metal blade right there right in the center of the crab okay and then you just want to smack it down like that and then you grab the claws and the legs and pull it back just like that and then you shake it and just rip out clean out all that gill so see that look how clean that is it's very simple on this side same thing grab the claw and all the legs rip it back sorry shake it get all that off of there okay so that's about it um, this is this product is pretty awesome. Very quick, very easy. Um, saves you a lot of time. Oh. 
oh, looks promising. Looks promising. Come on, baby. Keeper. That is a keeper. <laughs> That's how you do it with a crab hawk. All right, guys, so that is my last crab. Um, I'm going to get on out of here. Hey, Alex, thanks for coming. No problem. And uh, we're going to do this again soon because uh, the season is picking up for these guys. It is August right now, so it's only going to get better. Okay, so remember the best time to come crabbing on the coast is from August until about December. All right, it peaks around October, and you can get ones like giant crabs like that. Okay, it's pretty awesome. So I had a lot of fun using this uh, crab hawk. There it is. So thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Have fun fishing, tight lines.